This is uh, question number 16 in chapter 6, 6-16. Six it's a two-bearing fix. That is, we've taken bearing, <coughs> excuse me, bearings on two different objects, and we're going to cross them and get our fixed position. So let's read the question. Question number 16 in the solutions book. Later that same day, that is September 23, 2002, you are sailing in Rhode Island Sound on a heading of 120 PSC and take a visual bearing of 273 PSC on Point Judith Light and another bearing of 037 PSC on Breton Reef Light. What is your position? Now notice that <clears throat> the, position, the, um, the bearings and the heading are all in ship's compass, PSC. And one of the first things that we'll have to do is to convert these also to true so we can plot in true. So for this chart, let's go back to the compass rows and look at what we have in terms of variation. And you notice on the compass rows, again, here's the magnetic rows, the inner rows, and you see variation is 15 degrees, 00, zero minutes, west, 1985, and the annual increase is 3 minutes. So in order to bring this up to date to 2002, in your solutions book, we have again here variation in 1985 is 15 degrees, 00, zero minutes west, correct to 2002. So we take 2002 minus 1985, 17 years times 3 minutes per year, increase equals 51 minutes west increase. Variation in 2002 therefore is 15 degrees, 00, zero west plus 51 minutes equals 15 degrees 51, and we round that off to a whole number of 16 degrees west. So 16 degrees west is what we use in our TVMDC formula. Now, let's take these two bearings and go to TVMDC. This is also in the solutions book. And you see, um, I've written out here Judith and Breton to identify the two bearings that we're talking about. And we took a bearing of 273 on Point Judith and 037 on Breton. And these are in PSC. Now, the deviation that we're going to use to apply to these is based on the boat heading and not based on the bearing. So we come to the deviation table we were at a heading, boat heading, of 120 PSC. So we're going to enter this deviation table at 120 and get 3 degrees west. That 3 degrees will apply to both of these bearings. Now this is a vital point that many people get fouled up on. They try to apply, or they try to look up the deviation correction based on the bearing rather than based on the boat heading. And the, the deviations are predicated on boat heading. So w these are westerly, and as you recall, if we are traveling from right to left, westerly variation correction is a subtraction. So we take 273 minus 3 west is 270 magnetic, 037, 3 west, 034. And these are our, our headings in magnetic. Now we already calculated the variation as being 16 west. That's the same for both of these. That's also a subtraction. So it's 270 minus 16 is 254. 034 minus 16 is 018. So these are two, two bearings in true. And we're going to take those bearings and plot them and get a cross on them. So, this first one is Point Judith Light, and if we come here, we see Point Judith Neck, <coughs> Point Judith Point here, and down at the bottom of that point, you see a cer red circle, and that's the light itself. Now, when we plot to this, we use this little dot at the bottom of the um, teardrop that's, that's drawn in there. So that's the actual point of the, of the light. And for Point Judith, our true bearing to it is 254. So we're going to come to our 
true compass rows and find 254. Here's 270, 260, 250. Here's 254. Right there. And put our parallel rules in. Add 254. Walk that up to Point Judith and draw it through the little dot at the bottom of the teardrop. And then our next bearing on Breton is 018 true. And here is 018 true on the outer ring. I set my parallel rules to 018. Walk them over to Breton. It's this circle right here. And set that, hold that firmly. Draw my line. And at this point is my intersection of the two lines, and there's my fix. Now, in order to get the latitude and longitude of that fix, I'll take my dividers as we did before, put the point in the fix. Turn the thumb screw until I'm on a nearby horizontal line, line of latitude, drawn on the chart, which is this. Turn my dividers over, put it in there, and put a little mark here. <clears throat> and to read that, I see I have 41 degrees 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 21, 22 point looks like 6. 41 degrees, 22.6. And to get the longitude, I'll do a similar thing as I did before. Here's a close by vertical line. So I put my point in um, the fix, turn the thumb screw until I'm on that vertical line, turn it over and put it here at the line that I was on, put, put a mark in here, and read that, and I have 71 degrees, 5, 10, 15, 20, 24.5. 71 degrees, 24.5. And that's our position. So that's how we get a um, two-bearing fix.